Hello guys, welcome to Foodies Food Ventures channel. Today we are going to see the recipe for easy to make and delicious fish curry. Even if you are going to make this fish curry for the first time, I bet you are going to love it. And yes, this is cooked with very easily available ingredients at home. So let's start with the recipe. Here I have taken 750 grams of kingfish which is also called surma in Maharashtra. You can use any curry special fish for this recipe. To reduce the smell of the fish, we will first cover it with coating of jowar atta. And after 2-3 minutes, we will wash it with clean water. If you do not have jowar atta available at home, you can use lemon just to wash the fish instead of it. Now we will remove this jowar atta by washing the fish at least 2-3 to three times with clean water. This is traditional way to clean the fish here in Maharashtra. Once the fish is washed and cleaned completely, we will marinate it with some homemade spices, which includes homemade red chili powder, homemade turmeric powder and salt. You can decide the amount of these ingredients based on the quantity of fish. Here for 750 grams of fish, I have added around 1 tablespoon of each. We will mix this well and then we will keep this aside for at least half an hour. Now let's make some masala paste for this fish curry. Here I have taken 1 and half tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. We will need some spices which includes coriander seeds, cloves, green and black cardamom and black pepper. We have taken puree of 1 tomato. 2 vertically chopped onions and some dry coconut pieces. You can also use fresh coconut instead of it. Now in the heated pan, we will first roast the spices. We have to roast the spices for at least 2 minutes on medium flame. Once there is nice smell from the spices, we will take them out in a plate. Now we will add half tablespoon of oil and then we will dry roast this coconut pieces we have to dry roast these coconut pieces until they turn light golden in color now after 2 to 3 minutes we will add onion to it if needed we will add some half tablespoon of extra oil so that onion and coconut pieces are roasted nicely after 2-3 minutes, you can see there is nice light brown color on both the coconut and onion. We will take them out in a plate and let them cool down. Now in the same pan, we will add around half cup of oil to shallow fry the fish. Once the oil is hot enough, we will add fish pieces one by one. We are using the shallow fried fish pieces for this fish curry. This enhances the taste of the fish curry. After around 2 minutes, we will turn the fish on another side. We have to keep the gas or burner flame on medium to low. Because on the high flame, there is possibility that fish pieces will be burned out. If you are on diet plan or trying to avoid the excess oil, you can skip this test that is shallow frying and you can use directly marinated fish pieces in the curry. After around 4 to 5 minutes, all the fish pieces are nicely shallow fried. We will keep them aside until we make the curry. Now we will grind all dry roasted spices first. Now we will add roasted coconut and onion to it. For the very fine paste, we will add around 2 to 4 tablespoon of water and then blend it. You can see our masala paste is ready. Take around half cup of oil in pan or kadai. And now we will add the masala paste that we have recently made. You can use the amount of oil as much as you want. We have stir fried this paste for at least 2 to 3 minutes and then we will add ginger garlic paste to it. We will again roast this for at least a minute so that all rawness of ginger garlic will be gone. Now we will add tomato paste to it and then again we will 
cook this for at least 2 minutes. Now let's add some homemade spices which includes homemade red chili powder, turmeric powder and we have also added some Kashmiri red chili powder for nice color of the curry. Kashmiri red chili powder is easily available in any of the supermarket shops. Now we will add salt as per test and then we will cook this for at least 2 minutes. We have to cook this for at least 2 minutes so that all spices will secrete their own oil. To make this process easier, we will add around half cup of water. The taste of this fish curry depends on the way we cook these spices. So we have to be patient until there is enough oil secreted from the spices. You can see the results. Now we will add warm water to it. I have added around one and half glass of water for 750 grams of fish. We will wait until the curry boils and then we will add shallow fried fish pieces to it. As we have shallow fried the fish pieces, they are already very well cooked. Now we are done with adding all the fish pieces to the curry. We will mix this well. We will let this boil for 2 minutes on medium flame. Not much because fish pieces are already cooked. Add some fresh coriander leaves to it. Our fish curry is ready to serve. We mostly serve it with rice but you can also serve it with chapati. If you find this recipe helpful, please do not forget to like this video. If you are watching video first time on the channel, please subscribe and stay tuned for more recipes. Thank you for watching.